polar bear night. The night is keen and cold. Snug inside her warm den, a polar bear cub wakes. Something in the moonlit stillness quietly beckons. What is it? The little cub leaves her warm, soft mother so deep asleep. She sets out for the snow and sky and sea and ice and the moon follows. Quietly, the little cub creeps across the snow, watching, listening, all the others are asleep. She sees the walrus. He is sleeping. She sees the seals. They are all sleeping. She sees the whales. They're swimming as they sleep. Further and further, the polar bear cub walks, watching, listening. Where is she going? What will she find? She's like gone on her own little adventure. I don't know if that's very safe, but she's just a little cub. The little bear climbs high upon the mountain of snow where she waits wandering and the moon waits with her. Then the stars begin to stir. Over here, stars are softly falling. Over there too, it is a star shower. The stars, shooting stars, all of a sudden. The stars are like snowflakes falling, falling. They light up the snow and the ice. They light up the lapping waves of the sea. They light up the walrus and the seals and the whales. They light up the bear cub's warm, snug den and her soft, sleeping mother. They light up everything the little bear loves and the little bear shines bright with light too. One by one, the stars stop falling. Soon they're still again shining upon the little bear, shining as they sleep. Now the polar bear cub is ready for sleep too. Trying to get tired. She makes her way back through the keen, clear night and the moon follows. Snow and sky and sea and ice and mother bear's soft, warm fur. Home. Sweet story. So, um, real or make believe? I, I guess it. I mean, it could be real. I think it's not real that you know she has all these thoughts in her mind about going out. But we'll say make believe. And um, the setting is where the story is taking place, and they're in the Arctic. They're at outside she's on an adventure and the characters in the story are the the cub and the mother and at the beginning of the story she's asleep in the den and she wakes up and decides to go outside and then she goes walking and sees all the other wonderful animals that live where she lives near where she lives and then at the end of her little adventure or walk, she comes back home. And at the end, she finds her mom sleeping in the den and she curls up with her and goes to sleep with her and enjoys being back at home. 